The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 36. NASDAQ is up 1. S&Ps are up 5. Gold contract up $6, trading at 1347. We got silver up 17 cents, $16.64. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note flat, 30-year bond up two ticks. King dollar, king dollar up four ticks, 89.460. The euro is at 123.23. See, one U.S. dollar, yen is at 107.57 to one U.S. dollar. And, uh, you know, yesterday they smacked gold around. Uh, it's, we got it up a little today, but, you know, the GDX was saying it all. You know, yesterday the GDX uh, was only down 20 cents. Okay. And... Gold was down twenty dollars. Okay. Um, so that was pretty cool. You know, we and is had, that from? I mean, I know we're almost up at thirteen seventy at one point, right? Yeah. And oh yeah. And, and that's the, nine dollars high because we gave up nine dollars on Wednesday. One day, and then the yeah. rest of it was a give up on right, yesterday. Right. Exactly. See, we had a. Did go we get there? No. Yeah. Sixty nine forty yeah. was the high. Okay. Right. And then we pulled back yesterday. Now this is pretty cool, folks, because, you know, we, we pulled back and. It did have lighter volume than it was going into, but you can see that, that that's a good expansion of volume. Well, it's 398,000. I think it was uh, 374. Yeah, 374 it was going into. So the cool thing is here is that it got a little bit lower this morning. It's rejecting it. You know? Nice. So what we're going to have, and this is where this divergence was in pretty big, though. The GDX just refused to back off yesterday. Sure. You know, look, at that, yeah. look at, you come down with 38 million. I mean, Wait. we're right at basically the highs. Yes. And the highs in gold were, right. were a good $20 higher. Right. Yeah. And this is pretty cool. So watch this on the weekly now. On the weekly, folks, you're going to have some action. You know, this thing wants to get up to that February number. You know, not, yeah. that's uh, what, that's 2315. Uh, the S and P. So uh, if we take a look at these S and P's, this is the, what's going on at the open here. We're yeah, pulling back a little bit, right? It is. This we're right where um, the resistance is in a huge way, and, and it's just it's not from just the downdraft uh, of the uh, of March 22nd here. You know, see, it goes all the way over. It's it's that first downdraft. Okay, it's it's both fifth. of them. It's basically both of them that are giving it trouble, and I think the. The essence before, out here. Before you click uh, away, just I just I mean it's just remarkable these bars. We've went over it before, but yeah. I mean look at the trend that we had all at the end of last year. I mean tiny, tiny bars, bars all are going upwards, right? Right. And then man, yeah, February was wild. We all know that at the beginning. Yep. But just since the March twenty second, call right. it, is when every bar is just enormous it on is. a contextual basis compared to where we were prior. Right. Um, and you know, we're sitting right in decent territory, but man, the market is struggling to find where it wants to be when it, when it can jump one to two percent in each direction on a daily basis. And I'm not even exaggerating, daily basis. And, and you know, it's you know, it's pretty cool. This is where it can get deceiving a little bit. I think you know, Nico and I are talking this morning, and uh, he says, "Yeah, the market is up again." I says, "Yeah." I says, "You know, it's so interesting. If you're really not." paying attention sure. too much to the market. You feel, you'd feel like the market is really up. All-time highs almost. Yeah. It feels like yeah, it. I agree. You know I agree. I mean? And you get your 200 points and the S&P off. It's because there are enough big up days. Yeah, that, there are. That there are. The, the doom and gloom isn't there because no. it seems like you peek your head up and the Dow's up 400 points, right. give or take. Right. Well, it gave right. back those 400 points yesterday, it and did. it's up, and it gives and, it back, and, and that, it's up. And that's dangerous for a, a longer-term player, basically. No. I mean, because, even, I was just saying, even today, right, the S&Ps, we're 15 points off the high. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. That's right. a half a percent. We're 30 minutes in the trading day on Friday, and yep. we're, we're, we're half a percent um, lower than we just were. And, you know, if we... That would be startling oh. over, you know, before February 5th, Breaking news, you know, totally. S&P crashes 14 points in the span of 30 minutes. Um, that did not happen. <laughs> and so check this out. So J.P. Morgan, right, made yes. money hand over fist. Yeah, what's going on? I and know, I can't it. believe it. That, I, I think that's one, of the, that's one of the tells. Their profit was up 35% from huge, a year man. ago. I know. Um, Let's see. These numbers, I folks, heard that number, yeah, and, and they're, they're, I want to hear how they put that 35, but no matter how, they, you, they you can't fudge. Seven, seven o'clock. 
Let's see. One of these, I can. Let's see if I can. That gives us all the numbers. Nope, that one doesn't. Let's see. Just gonna click I down again. Go yeah. back to seven o'clock. You there? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe one more. We, we have we have so many of them that. Well, no, I think that's. Oh, there, there we go. go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. So the estimate was. Uh, the trading sales and trading revenue. The estimate was 4.4 billion. They took in 4.55. Yeah, um, essentially an extra 110 million. Yeah. Um, There's your earnings per share, 237 versus 228. Right. Yeah. Big numbers. Investment banking, though, they uh, didn't yeah, quite hit the down. number. I see. That's okay. a big number for yep. sure. Um, but I mean, the earnings. That's that's a big one. They crushed it, you know, and that's yep. and that's maybe where um, that number of 35 percent came from. Um, so, bottom line, it's saying something about the marketplace, though, folks. You get, you know, no, that's you get good numbers, and uh, they they sell it off. Oh, it's and that's you know all of the hype um, in terms of just listening to Bloomberg this morning. Can you go down one more page yep. and see if there's anything? No, okay. That's yeah. trading revenue. We're looking yeah. for the one that we'll has pull it up during the break yeah, for right the, the full breakdown of a kind of all. You can jump around, but anyway, the rhetoric was all very positive in terms right. of, um, and they do a pretty good job of providing some context in terms of what is happening in the market, no. not just the the PR spin that the company puts out. Right. And just talking about, I mean, J.P. Morgan was doing really well a year ago. Okay, so to be like up 35 percent on profits in one year, my head was like, oh my God, Excuse me. bless you. God, yes. Companies don't grow at 35 percent when you're that big of a yep. juggernaut on Wall Street. Pretty amazing. And look at this market, we're yep. negative, man. You know, and so let's go back. Uh, let's go uh, first into the NDX 100. Let's see, it's moving the NDX around. Uh, we got uh, Broadcom. That's uh, up 2.5 percent. They're buying back, I think, eight billion in shares. Okay. Uh, the deal that putting go. that tax money to work. Yeah, exactly. Netflix is up 1.5 percent. I saw they got an upgrade this morning. Okay, so uh, they got some action going. Qualcomm's up 1.2. Tesla's up one. Taken away from it, you get Mylan Pharmaceutical down 2.6. Shire is down 2.2. C-Trip is off uh, 2. JD.com is off 2. Um, inside the Dow, we know who's going to be moving the Dow. And actually, it's going to be interesting to see if the... Uh, GE! No, they <laughs> <laughs> Look at the, the Boeing. Look at Boeing and, and Goldman. Goldman oh, and, and J.P. Morgan. So Bo Boeing's putting 43 negative points. Goldman's putting 11. J.P. Morgan's putting 8. And you know what's funny is, and so that's, uh, can we jump to GE because yeah. this is always where they're a meaningless company in the Dow in terms of what they can do because they're a $13 stock. Right. But if you go into their description in terms of the market cap for that company, it's, it's mammoth. You're talking about a $117 billion company and they don't even factor into the Dow because they're a $13 stock. Whereas right. realistically, they'll just jump to Boeing. What is Boeing's market cap? Um, Okay, remember that 113 billion is said. Yeah. yeah. So they're 194, right? So they're not even double the size of the stock. Yeah. And meanwhile, their share price is 26 times the price of the stock. 27. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, and it's like they, they so they have 26 times the effect in the Dow, and they're not even twice as big of a company. There you go. Yeah. I feel like some skewed numbers. They should teach that in school. They, if if people understood how the Dow is, and that's why the S and P is a great indication. Yeah. You know, it seriously. Is. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now flat. Nasdaq's down ten. S and P's are up one. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 26. Nasdaq's down five. S and P's are up three. Let's go to our man Paul in Henderson, Nevada. Paul, what's going on, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing? Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Happy man. Happy Friday, man. It's making a great one. Great weekend. Oh, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be good. Vegas over here. Surprisingly enough, the weather feels just like I left the Bay Area. It's nice. Really. Yeah. It, it, yeah. You guys got playoff hockey coming yeah, too, well, right? Yeah. I went to the Lightning game last and, night. We Andy, won first Andy, game. Andy went to the game the night before. Did I saw nice. him yesterday, yeah. Got to love playoff hockey, man. I got my I playoff heard Andy view. talking about the game. I'm not a big hockey fan, but over here in Vegas, I think I need to adopt these Golden Knights. You should, man. Yeah. They're rocking and rolling, and, <laughs> and we're biased hockey fans. Yeah. Um, but, man, hockey is a great sport to watch live. Talk about fast-paced, fast action. It really is. And, you know, I love all sports, but hockey is an awesome sport to watch and live. And so Tommy lives, like, pretty close to the, the arena. Yeah. And he scored last night. I got a single ticket. And yeah. that's the beautiful part nice. about like, living yeah. in, in Tampa is that, you know, you can't find these types of tickets in Boston, man. In right. Vegas, I bet it's a battle as well just because yeah. there's so much... Right. action and people and tourists um but when you're in different parts of the country man you know i mean it's not like boston it's not like new york it's not right. like chicago where sports are so hard to get any tickets especially when you talk about playoffs and that's one of the things i love about florida man you get good seats affordable prices so it was a Crazy. great game too yeah you know i'm a, I'm a huge bo real quick about sports i'm a huge boxing fan and last night i was thinking about you guys all night because i'm watching the movie about mickey ward oh that's boston. a good one yeah oh man that's a good those, one. Uh, those three fights with Arturo Gotti are still some of my favorite things to watch. Yeah. Uh, to this day. So. That's a good. That's a good movie, man. That is. That's a great yeah, movie. The whole family, right? The, <laughs> totally. Oh yeah. man, Mark so, Wahlberg did a really good job. And he Mickey did. Ward, that left us for the body. I man, he totally. was an incredible fighter. Yeah, that yeah. was awesome. No doubt, man. Yeah. And uh, you know, I actually remember that guy. I remember that guy walking into bars. He, the guy was a great guy. I bet. No. You know, I bet. He, and. It's, it's it's just intriguing, man. You, you know? got to be to like get done what he got done in the face of what he's doing. Oh, totally, with, man. man. That's totally. pretty intense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty wild. So, so um, Netflix. I want to take a look at this here. Um, Tom, I need some uh, some advice here. So I'm short at the open. Uh, a little bit about thirteen uh, three sixty three sixteen eighty. I'm sorry. Nice. Um, approximately. Okay. Uh, I took a little bit off. I took half off at uh, three. 
three thirteen fifty. Yeah. So what's your methodology? And it out of that downtrend line, but these on the way up, it had all those little dojis, and I just I don't trust it. It looks like it's. Uh, what do you think, here, man? Should I stick with the restless position today, or just? I uh, you could stick with the rest of the position today. I just put a stop right above it right now. I, you know, but I wouldn't stay. Don't stay short over the weekend on this, man. This stock wants to go over over the highs. This this see that high volume high at three thirty three. He's looking at March. Yep. That's gonna 12th. get. That's that wants to get tested. You know, so you don't want to wake up in the morning and the thing's up fifteen dollars. It's just so strong compared to. Yeah. Right, I mean, it's almost compared right at the market. Highs. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So. You know, I mean, as a day trade, great. You know, a bottom line is it. I think you get a weekday ahead of us, so you know, it's like, okay, sure. man, just don't, you know, don't let it get over that three seventeen forty nine. You know, and but I'd close it out before the end of the day, man. I wouldn't. Okay. You, you never. What happens, Paul, is that if you have a high volume high, right? You want to be really careful because they like to get tested. Now, this is a consolidation it's because you get the high volume high, then you get a high volume low. Okay. So the way that you you want to be defensive in it, like, let's say I close this out. The next time that it does go up and test that high volume high, if it's on lighter volume, bang, that's where you want to throw that short position off. Okay. You know, so, but I think, yeah. Hey, I think, um, yeah. Uh, one more question. Tom, do you ever use uh, an indicator called VWAP? Have you heard of that? Do you know what it is? I, I know what it is. Yeah, no, I don't. And Okay. Um, so that is used, let's picture that you are a, a trader um, it used to be used a lot more, okay? And I'm IBM, and you're buying for me, right? Well, uh, or if, you, if, if Tommy's a fund manager and you're buying for him, you better not come back to him. Let's say, he's tell, say we're both saying we want 100,000 shares today, right? You better not come back to him and tell, tell us at the end of the day that you're going over that price. All of that price is is that that's the mean price of the trade that day. So if the, if the stock's trading, let's say, IBM... And, you know, let's say the spread today is what, 150? So the spread is, uh, let's just say the spread's a dollar today, right? Well, they're going to want to okay. get closed out at 50 cents. Do you know what I mean? That, that's, you know, they're looking for not the highest of the day, not the lowest. They're looking for the average price of the day. That's, that's what that okay. is. Yeah. Um, and I don't know whether people get close to it or not. I know that if you're hiring someone, though, you know, it, that that'll make a difference. Do you know what I mean? Hey, Paul, what's going on in the crypto world? Man? Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Quite you know, a couple. The other day, the tell. I, so I was curious. I've been listening to you guys a lot, and uh, Bitcoin was kind of just flatlining. Yeah. So I was like, man, is this accumulation or distribution? What's going on here? And EOS, which is a favorite coin of mine that I've been accumulating over time, uh, popped uh, almost fifty percent. And I'm like, I think that's the, the hat tip. And then right after a row, all the other ones started going. Yep. So I think this weekend's going to be pretty interesting. I'm, I'm no, very excited I agree about what's too. Because you know, you, you know, when we were talking there, Paul, right? Remember, both, both Tommy and I said, just laying there doing nothing. It I, really was. And I, and I was really saying to myself, you know, that's probably that when no one's talking about it, that's kind of when it happens. I mean, I usually pull up the Bitcoin chart right. on the hourly updates and there wasn't much to update it no. kept you know it was like 6800 ticking right. along 7000 ticking along um, and then all of them man exploded exploded uh, yesterday early morning all yeah. of them they were all up big hey you didn't buy that uh, that stock did you that got halted please no i was day trading it so what happens and i mean what this happens the long if someone chain, is right? stuck yeah. with shares what happens with it yeah, they're they're toast. They're zero. You don't have any shares, do you? Please, God. No. Good. Okay. Not right. I mean, but I was trading it on the way up, and then usually when it gets halted, because I trade a lot of the Momo stock, they will get halted, and usually they bust out of the halt and they continue to go higher. Not always. But, okay. So th um, this is this is what the difference is, right? So trading a momentum stock, whether it's up or down, that's cool. Okay. When they get halted, what's happening is that they're moving so fast they're getting halted on a very small basis, not on financial fraud. These, these, these stocks are halted because they haven't come up with the documents that the SEC wants. Mm. Yeah, it's a fraud. They just basically. might be misrepresenting themselves, yeah. too. Right, right. exactly. Well, they just, and they haven't come up with the documents. I sure. mean, they could, they could get unhalted in a second if they want to come up with the documents, but guess what? <laughs> they, they don't. And they sold a huge amount of shares 
uh, in the marketplace when this was happening. They know they did that. It's, it's, so it's. Well, I would have too if I had owned shares at ten dollars and it went to one hundred and forty. I'm just serious. Yeah, well, well you know, exactly. guess what? If you're, it's real or not. But I mean, but if you're an insider, you can't. That's that's the basis. You just can't, you know, basically pump up a stock and sell it. It's it's illegal. No, no, right, you know? right. So, so that's so what, what happens, Paul, is that. It, you want to differentiate between a momentum stock and, you know, inside this blockchain deal, there was a lot of fraud. Yeah, the and momentum, they're just trying to find where supply equals demand. Right, And right. they need a little bit of time right. to find yeah. that. In this case, they got to figure out what's going yeah. on with the actual company before right. they allow trading. Right. Yeah. And wow. they, they will open again because yeah. what happens is there's that... There's going to be some value to that it's company. Gonna, well, it's going to be the pink sheets. But that's what I mean. There's it, some because, value. It's yeah, not with zero. Like maybe but a it's couple pennies. Well, yeah. it could be higher, too. I mean, it could be 50 cents or something. Yeah. I mean, no, right. That's, yeah. Cooking, brother. Have a great weekend, right, man. man. Have a great weekend, guys. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Would you like exposure to the foreign currency markets without any downside risk to your principal? Then consider the Petro Currencies Market Safe CD from Everbank. This three-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD leverages the performance of four equally weighted currencies from these top oil-producing countries, Brazil, Canada, Mexico, and Russia. This CD features a 200% leverage factor, which means that your potential upside payment will be double the currency's average performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And if the returns are negative, your principal is 100% protected. Returns are based on CD performance with no correlation to the price of oil, and there is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. The April 19th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA FSB member FDIC. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal-clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal-clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrial is down 53, NASDAQ off 28, s and is down 5. Now, let's just look at this uh, from a weekly basis today. So if we take a look at the SPY first and we put these on a weekly, let's see what they're going to look like. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So how this closes today is going to, of course, you know, on a weekly basis, your 265.37, if you close under 266.64, bottom line, 
You know, that's saying you couldn't get over the highs for the last two weeks. Or st stay over the highs sure. because it did get over the highs. Uh, NDX 100, uh, that's the one to really watch, too, because what did happen is that the, yeah, see, the NDX really got away from the consolidation it was in better than the S&P did, and that's given it up. Let me just see this, because that busted pretty good yesterday. Yeah, look at that. See, you know, the, the number that we were watching on the, S, on the N, NQs was uh, 66.53. Okay. And it got away from it, meaning, you know, the higher you normally sure. get, you know, you have more of a shot to really go topside. Sure. And look, you, you went 43 points above it. And now just gave it up on spades. Yeah. yeah. What was the high? Uh, it, was, it was 53 or 63, and so we went to 93. Points. Yeah, yeah, 30 points high. Yeah. You know, and now, bottom line, you give, and you're only giving it up. You're giving it up quick. in spades. Right. You know, you got some juice underneath this uh, this move. It's early in the market, look, man. Look at, look at that bottom. Oh, I agree. No, they're, right. they're, they're, throwing, they're throwing some heat into this thing. So it's going to be... Uh, uh, another nice volatile day uh, inside the marketplace. Oh, did you see this Saudi? Yeah, look at that oil. Talk so, about some volatility, right? Yeah, so hey, check this out. This, so uh, the Saudis come out with their numbers this morning. First time they ever come out with numbers. Okay. You, you, ramping up to this, do this uh, Aramco deal, okay. right? Uh, they were out there, you know, saying that they're, most, they're the most valuable company in the world. Uh, I, I, let's see, is it $33 billion? In six months, they did. But listen to this, folks. This is what's going to be amazing. So the way that they're going to do this uh, IPO, right? You, you have a Saudi. You, you own all the oil, right? Yep. You're going to sell the shares, right? Now, inside selling the shares, folks, what they've done is that they have put a royalty on the gross n revenue okay. that they are going to keep. Now, watch how this works, folks, okay? this Because they're not going to allow the public to get any of the upside in oil. Okay. And, and they're going to allow them a little, but listen, wow, watch how this works. Once oil goes over like $70, right, the Saudi has taken a 20% royalty. Once it goes over $80, it's like 30%, and then it goes up to like 80%. Yeah. Over $100. Sure. The, the, sure. Isn't that wild? And all the upward exposure. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, yeah. And the know, other part just about that IPO is that I think they're only pushing out like 5% of the company right. or something. So right. it's going to be a very, very minority yep. shareholder. You're not going to be able to have like an activist investor no. come in and say, right. you know, we own enough of the company to do anything. You're right. just going to kind of be along for the ride. And right. They're just, they're, they're just dipping into the public. Right. They yeah. want a little cash to Why do some not? other stuff. Right. right. Yeah. Hey, if they can pull it off, more power to Exactly. Them, right? No, that's, it's a sell. That's right. I yeah. mean, you look at the uh, same way in the way Netflix was able to sell all their debt at like 5.3%. Right. Um, more power to them if they were able to pull it off. What's that debt trade net now? Right? Yeah. I mean, massively under oh, when they got downgraded no. in terms of... Yeah. I, it's, it's heavy. Yeah. Um, so, uh, let's... Let me... You can minimize that. Sure. Yeah. There you go. So if we go into, the uh, GDX is still moving. Let's go into silver for a second. So silver still hasn't given us the bid that we need inside this metals market. We get silver up 9 tenths of 1%. You're up 15 cents. Not bad, not great. 42,000 contracts. Yeah. So, you know, we did get up there. When we, and that, that had volume behind the move, as did, you know, the, the gold contract. Uh, it did back down with... Light, well, back down with the 100,000, went topside with 142. Okay. And let me just see on a weekly SI1. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't look, look that great. Remember, folks, uh, now that uh, we do have uh, a Bitcoin moving around, too, that uh, Monday morning, 8 o'clock, uh, the weekly spreads. Uh, on the Nadex platform, open up. So uh, they close this afternoon at three o'clock. Yeah. And uh, you know, if we get some volatility, then now you get some action. For sure. Yeah. The middle of the spread was about seven thousand when we started the week. We're up to eight thousand, um, thousand points on something trading at seven thousand. You're talking about fifteen percent move. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, right? And when we 15%. had pulled it up, the spread it was right there. It was trading right at you know because it was in the middle. Right. Yeah. Right. You know. Yeah. And even, um, you know, right now, with so little time until expiration, it's still going to be trading right, you know, the bid offer right now is just basically straddling what the price is at. You can see the bid is 88075 The offer is 8, 
thousand one ten, and we're trading at eight thousand ninety. So we're literally you that's know impressive. fifteen to twenty dollars yeah. on each side. There's a real market there, which let's is pretty what, tight for let's something. Let's see what they're doing uh, at the CME. So uh, contract size. Yeah, yeah. XBT. I'd guess today's going to be slower than yesterday. Those are some big numbers oh, yesterday was, when man. we were doing the show. It was. That's uh, not pretty bad, decent, huh? though. Yeah. Yeah. You've done uh, 3,600 coins at the CBOE. That's one coin apiece. CME, you've done uh, 10,000. 2,400 yeah. contracts, five, five coins per, really, per 12, contract. 12,000. 12,000. What do you mean? 12,000 times five. That's 12,000. 2,500 times five. Oh, yeah, yeah, 12, yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So um, over 15,000 contracts, yeah, uh, right. you know, per Bitcoin right. done right, right now. That's, that's big numbers. Yeah. On so, any other day, that'd be huge. Yeah. But yesterday was just so big. But it would make sense with that type of slow, 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 no action, no action, oh, no yeah. action, boom. I mean, huge jump. And all of them, like we said, jumped um, pretty, pretty dramatically, as in you had Ethereum, um, Ripple, yep. they were all up big. Now, if we go with the, the bond market, this is a big number inside the bond market today uh, because yesterday you did back down. You back down with some bigger volume, expanded volume, yet it was coming into two separate signs of strength prior to this. So that was lighter volume than that. Um, these bonds are going to, you know, we'll see how this thing shakes out, but that's still, they're not nailed yet. They're, they're not nailed to the cross that uh, these rates are going higher, you know. We're at 2.823. That's on the... 10 year now watch this this is where this this is what the market's worried about a little if we go to the two year we're 2.35 see this sure so so picture this folks the market is saying on a 10 year basis and this is all about how the yield is curved meaning, sure and yet near term versus yeah longer versus term. 10 years sure. and it's only 50 basis points right now difference 82 all you do when you count basis points is the you know, the next yeah. first two after the decimal versus 35, you know, 2.35 versus right. 2.8. Sure. You yeah. know, so it's pretty amazing, you know, that the yeah. aspect is that... 50 base points, half a percent. Just yeah, right. right. And so, so what, what people are saying is that I will lend you 10 years and over half a percent. And only a half a percent more than I yeah. need to lend it at two. two. Right. Which is like that is what as if that keeps getting crushed or if it ever inverts that's when people will really worry that we're coming into harder times yeah you know right 877-927-6648 we have the dow industrials are down 46 nasdaq is up no nasdaq absolutely used to saying up sometimes nasdaq is down 24 this week S especially s and yeah. are off three come right back Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. 
start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. So we have the uh, Dow Industrials right now down uh, 49, NASDAQ off 21, S&Ps are off four and a half. We want to get a big shout out to uh, uh, our man Eve. Eve, Eve and he's, Eddie. He's Eddie, he's maybe watching. Eddie. Eve, what's going on, brother? He's watching. Wow. <laughs> totally, man. Getting ready for the weekend. I gotta love it. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so what else? We let's go to King Dollar. See what we have happening with King Dollar. So King Dollar out here. Let's see what this is doing. That's having a hard time holding price at all. Yeah, so gets up this morning to 89.550 and just can't handle it. The uh, the aspect of uh, let's go to Amazon for a second. So Amazon yesterday, yeah, that's see they're they're all having a hard time right at that downdraft. Okay, that that downdraft. Uh, there's quite a line, 14.55, and you can see if we bring that with Amazon's case, you bring it over there. What is that? That's January. Sure. It's pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, you know, time time is flying, of course, but uh, bottom line is that, you know. Can we jump back to Netflix and see yeah. what they're doing as well? Well, it's interesting. So I have some work going on in my place. They're digging through my yard, and uh, yeah, look at this strong man. Um, and so they happen to dig through my cable wire as well. Okay. I lost my cable, which is your internet. I don't care about TV. It's yeah. really your internet, and you discover how quickly you're dependent on the right. internet, among anything. So right. thinking, all right, I'll listen to some music. Well, needless to say, I have my Amazon Alexa tied into my network. Okay. So usually I'll tell Alexa to turn on my serious internet radio, yeah. which is tied into my network. Oh. I can't use it, right? I mean, thankfully, I was able to get my neighbor um, right next to me, their okay. Wi-Fi that I can use. Okay. The point is, and that's all you need, man, as you know, and people cut the cord all the time, right. um, but it was interesting where right away I was watching Netflix last night, it was pretty seamless, you know, watching wow. Netflix on my smart TVs, it was, yeah. it was like, uh, you know, nothing, like nothing. nothing even changed in terms of once you have internet versus TV doesn't matter, you know, but internet is everything. Wow. And just how I pulled up Netflix, maybe they got Amazon Prime, have right. them as well. Amazon, right. I could pull up that, you know, it was like pretty seamless. Like maybe I should cut it. Man, Watch, well, maybe I should cut Tiger it. Tiger TV, I keep, I keep you know? saying that, I know. And you can always join um, a number of other services versus uh, HBO Go. You know, you really love HBO, yeah. that might be one that I love because, right. you know, it's like I really do love watching some of those good hour-long dramas, all right. that good stuff. That's, I think, $20 a month, something like that on its own, um, let alone paying for all of um, yeah, that comes all with the cable boxes. that you don't use, you right. know? Um, I know, because you know, watching TFNN all the time. Yeah. You know, you pull up Bloomberg at night; they stream their stuff live on the web. Right. Um, ESPN is going to be launching a product pretty soon. Um, and it just made me think about it. It's like, man, the, you the know, dynamics they, really yeah. have changed, man. Right. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Yep. Let's go take a look at Google. Google. Google's been, you know, bottom line building cause to jump that creek. Still hanging there though. 
Google's up four bucks. Not quite the same chart as Amazon or, or Netflix, though. No, right? it's not. Yeah. And you know, when you when you bring this back, you're gonna see that this baby's just sticking out like a sore thumb. It's and like, they were there. That's that. Excuse me. They're in the ballpark with Facebook there, and that's that's I think part of what's coming in is that if regulators start clamping down on the type of ad displays, security, yep. tracking, um, you know, political ads, the whole. I mean. Google reaps the benefits of that as well. Yeah, well, there's no doubt. I mean, God knows what they have in terms of, you know, they have everyone's email. Can you imagine? Uh, I mean, scrubbing the emails. No, I know. they do. I mean, that's, yeah, that's right. legit. So, you know, that's quite they an They can algorithm. scrub everything. Isn't that, it, I, that's just, yeah. that's pretty intense, man. Definitely. I guess what, what's intense about it is that I was listening to uh, Bloomberg yesterday, uh, coming in the morning, and they had a guy on, and he was talking about the, the aspect of uh, this these quantum computers sure. what has hap me. happens with the quantum computers folks is that they're much better and much faster yeah at re patent recognition okay uh, and that's what that is i think it's the, all processing the, speed the, 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 more, can, the more data sure. that you can get they can do computations at an exponential rate compared to a normal process and, that, and, and right? the, then they're looking for patents basically right. so the, the the they take the data they're looking for patents yep. and then they basically say well if you have this patent your probability is sure. this, this patent, is, it's pretty intense, man. Totally. It's like, okay. It's the future. So what is the probability that, you know, you are going to buy something right. and what it is? If you email your friends about cooking, baking cookies, yeah. right? Well, there's a 98% chance you're going to buy butter in the next two weeks or something. You know, right? All of those types, yeah. I'm sure. Right? And then, then a butter commercial pops no, up I on mean, your computer. You know, we, we did, that's in the simplest terms, <laughs> but that's, that's the core of probably what's going on. Um, they're, they're anticipating future behavior by the algorithms, analyzing past behavior or current, or just your demographic, everything. Yeah, pretty wild, man. It is. Let's go uh, NVIDIA, NVDA. So the, the chips, bottom line, take you up, they take you down. Um, you know, NVIDIA, I mean, look at that. Five days we went from 213 to 237. Oof. Yeah, exactly. But you still, you know, it's, it's, these, these supply lines are big. Yeah, They're, you know, some of those stocks, though, it's surprising how close they are to the highs. Oh, um, yeah, this you know, is like one of them. Google, not so much, right? right. You know, um, Netflix close, Nvidia yep. definitely close, right? I would agree. Uh, Mike, let's see what Microsoft is. I bet they're close. Let's see. They should be. Yeah, oh, yeah. they're close. They're, they're right next to it. Apple, Apple what's the, the? Not so much, maybe. I don't know. No, no, they're no, close, definitely. Good. No, definitely. But you, look at the Apple, though. You, you can see, as you climbed, this is, you know contracting sure. there's less buyers every single day and I think what uh, you know and it's just in my head I was like ah oh, what's the perception is it close and it, it really probably my perception was this that it stemmed from you know and this yeah. it's bounced back pretty even right. even with this pullback I mean that was quite a run down from 180 to 150 we're now at 175 yeah pretty remarkable it's it, quite a rebound it certainly is there's no doubt the uh, we, we're getting fast moving out here. Like, uh, so we've been moving up and down on this S&P like five points the last couple minutes here. Watch this if we put this in. <laughs> Look at that. So oh, yeah. we, we got down to 26.52. It just popped to 26.61. Is that 52 low? No, I, no, that might I be see. That's night. last yeah. night. Okay. But still, so 55. 55 to 62. Um, that's a good 25 points off the high, though. We're up at 26.80. Look at that. I mean, that's a full percent. What time is that? Oh, at the open. Yeah. Not, uh, it's a full percent. Yeah. That's a good. Nothing that's a, to shake at. In that's terms a big of number. Big time. Inside the Dow. <laughs> full percentage points moves in, in the span of an hour. That should be a big number. Yeah. Man. So the Dow just went from uh, 646. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Holy cow. Same thing. 200 points. Almost a full percent. <laughs> 250 would be a full percent. You'd that. 200 points. That. that high. Okay. That is intense. Yeah. No doubt. Lots of trading left today, man. Lots of trading. You're going into a weekend. I mean, you my, know, we, my, we know that we're going to have volatility over the weekend. You got Comey interview Sunday night. Right. You got President throwing a tantrum already this morning on Twitter, getting right. ready for Sunday evening. Right. We'll see what happens. And never mind about Syria. Right. Okay. No. You know, Very true. We'll see whether they're just going to bury that. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, XAU, HUI, these are catching a bit also. So nice way to go out on a Friday. So the XAU, look, it's almost at the high of uh, Wednesday. Uh, 84.34. We closed at 83.69, so you're over the closing price. The high was 84.49. And that's two days ago, close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Gold Bugs Index, nice, up 350. That high out there was uh, 84.85. Now, what you're going to have on these 
uh, XAU, HUI, GDX is that you're going to have uh, the weekly closes over the swing point. Well, if we stay sure, no, where no. we are. 877-927-6648. Dow right now uh, down 33. NASDAQ off 12. S&P's off 2. Come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And last March, the folks at Timer's Digest began tracking my newsletter signals, which through January 18th, 2018 placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now, I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals, but clearly, I've learned how to time the markets, and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education, sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom and Tommy O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling a problem with us. Now, it's going to be interesting. What I have up here, folks, is that uh, if you look at high-end restaurants, it's going to be intriguing to see uh, how this is going to work out. So inside the new tax bill, what this, what this article is about is that uh, most people thought that uh, inside the new tax bill, um, they kept that you can write off 50% of... Uh, your business expense, okay? Business meal. Uh, 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 yep, yeah, may, for, for entertainment, for, for meals, extent, that, okay. that it could still be there, but it looks like um, we, you may not be able to. So the article is uh, saying uh, the overhaul delivered a windfall. Well, we know that it got the windfall for corporate America. Uh, under the old tax regime, companies could deduct 50% of business-related expenses when entertaining clients and discussing work. Uh, you know, high-end meals, any type of meals, sure. golf outings, concert tickets. It was a 50% write-off. Now what they're saying, now tax lawyers and accountants are uh, uh, saying a closer show, closer read shows deduction of client meal expenses may no longer be allowed. Um, yeah, so originally, just a bit, they, originally they thought 
that they had eliminated the de deduction for so-called entertainment while preserving the write-off for business meals in particular. Yeah. And now, from digging into it, and, and it's intriguing that it takes this long, you know, to, I know. to fight through and figure out what the law will allow. Yeah. Um, but that's what happens. You pass it in like six days. No, can we? I, oh, I'm yeah, still yeah. not. Um, so tax lawyers and accountants are saying closer read show the deductions for the meals no longer will be allowed and warning their clients to proceed with caution. This is where I want to get. It all boils down to whether a meal is considered entertainment. Right. The new law says no entertainment, amusement, or recreation of any kind is deductible, even if it's, if it's related to active conduct of business. Wow. But it doesn't explicitly say business for clarification. Meals. So basically, they're asking for clarification because it's not even clear. Yeah. And so the, the, the way to go, uh, you know, Capital Grill, in some of these high end sure. restaurants that are public, you want to take the it out. just if you can't deduct 50%, man. They're going to lose some money. Is that right? Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We got swim lessons. We got our man Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Wow! Look at him, folks. Cap, Since Grill. 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com.